Hi there, thank you for purchasing the Cycle Satiator battery charger. This next video in our series will cover the initial setup and selecting a battery profile for the Satiator. To begin with, if you purchase the Satiator from Grin Technologies along with a battery, it should be configured with the correct default profile and is all ready to plug and play with your battery pack. Now if you purchase the Satiator through a dealer or directly through our web store without a battery, you'll first need to select and enable an initial profile in order to charge your particular battery pack. Now, before you begin setting up the Satiator, you'll need to determine the type of battery that you want to charge. You'll need to track down the following information. So you'll be able to look on any labels on the battery pack or the previous charger. And the information you're looking for is battery chemistry, nominal voltage, max charge voltage, and max charge current. All of these details are critical for building the correct profile for the cycle satiator. Now for the purpose of this video, we're going to go through setting up the cycle satiator charger with an easy 36 volt lithium battery. Now with this particular battery here, there's a label on the bottom that tells me that it's a 36 volt battery, that it's a lithium battery, and when I visited their website, I learned that the max charge voltage is 42 volts and the max charge current is 8 amps. So we can now select a profile that has those parameters and we can choose that profile within our satiator to be able to charge our battery. So once we've determined this information, we're now going to step through how we program the satiator charger using the buttons on the side and it's only going to take a couple of minutes. So to begin programming the cycle satiator, you'll need to plug the unit in to a power outlet. And then you'll follow the on-screen prompts to enter the profile configuration setup menu. So in this case, I'm going to press and hold down the lower button to be able to view the profiles. Now on this display, we'll be able to scroll through the various profiles that are pre-configured into the cycle satiator. The profile title is shown on the first line. The max charge voltage and charge current are shown on the second line. This table shows all of the default profiles that are preloaded into the cycle satiator from our factory. Our default profiles cover the most common types of battery chemistries, voltages, and charge currents. For lithium batteries, we have profiles for 36 volt, 48 volt, and 52 volt nominal batteries. You can choose between fast charge at 7 or 8 amps, standard charge at 4 amps, and an 85% charge option which will increase the pack longevity. We also have specific profiles for lithium iron phosphate packs that include fast charge options and standard charge options. For sealed lead acid batteries, we have profiles for 24 volt, 36 volt, and 48 volt battery packs. If you require a charge profile that is different than these options, no problem at all. You can create custom profiles or edit the existing ones to suit your needs. Also, keep in mind that for choosing a charge current, you can always choose a current that is lower than the maximum of your pack but it is not recommended to use a charge current that is higher than the max rating of your pack for obvious reasons. Now let's get back to selecting an initial profile for our battery pack. So what we'll do is scroll through the various profiles until we find the profile that matches our battery. Now keep in mind our battery was a 36 volt lithium battery with a 42 volt maximum charge and a max charge current of 8 amps. So it looks like this profile, which happens to be profile number one, is the profile that we want to select for our particular battery. So in this circumstance, we'll now press and hold down the bottom button to select that profile. And then we're going to choose to activate the profile by pressing and holding the top button. Okay, so now that we've got the uh, correct profile set up within the satiator, we can see it on the screen here. And because it's the only 
profile available in the charger as soon as you plug the battery into it the satiator will automatically start charging uh, up to the appropriate voltage so that's as simple as it is to set up a cycle satiator for one charging profile and uh, if you need more information about uh, setting up multiple profiles or custom profiles please continue to watch our video series thank you thanks for watching if you have any questions or comments or feedback, please email us at info at ebikes.ca.